We've been talking about greens a lot this month and I had some questions about mixing greens. So before we can talk about mixing greens specifically, we need to talk a little bit about color theory in general and mixing in general. So theoretically, we would be able to mix all the colors in the spectrum with the three primaries plus black and white. Um, fortunately, it's not, it's not quite true. We need a little more help than that. Um, so I have uh, CAD, CAD red medium, CAD yellow medium, CAD uh, red medium, and ultramarine blue here. And I just want to show you what we can get in terms of green with mixing our um, ultramarine blue and a little CAD yellow. So what we're going to get is kind of a, uh, it's a very, it's, it's pretty rich, it's, it's kind of a nice bright olive green, but it is olive. So what's happening here is all the colors have a bias. So CAD yellow light is biased just a tiny bit towards red. Now, uh, ultramarine blue is biased just a little bit towards red, and CAD the the CAD red is biased a little bit towards the yellow. So what's happening there is we're getting a little bit of a graying effect when we're using the CAD yellow with the ultramarine blue. Okay, so let's let's talk about mixing. Just I'm going to put this aside here. And we're going to use that a little bit later. I'm going to talk about mixing gray. Because so that's a big question. How do you get gray? Well, you get gray by using all three of the primaries plus white. So a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of red, and some white. Most times white. It's going to get you something that's kind of a muted a muted tone. Oh, I have a little ant right there. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue to this mixture so I get more of more achromatic. So theoretically again if I mix these in the right proportion then I'm going to actually get a, a true achromatic gray. Get, I can get close but see I'm getting there. That's pretty good. See that? It, so it so achromatic meaning it doesn't have a discernible hue. If you look at it, you can't really, is it, is it, is it blue, is it red, is it yellow? So that's, that one's pretty darn close to an achromatic gray right there. And I'm going to put this one aside too. But I just want to show you, um, oh, there's my little ant. What we're trying to mix, we're trying to be able to mix all of these greens, right? We can't do it with just ultramarine blue and a cad yellow. What we have to do is we have to add co-primaries to our palette. So we need to add a yellow that is leaning towards green, and that's a lemon yellow. We need to add a blue that is leaning towards green, and that's going to be a phthalo blue. And we're going to add one more red. We're going to add a permanent rose, which is leaning towards blue. Okay, so now we're not really going to be talking too much about the, the red, but we may use some for complements. Okay, so now let's try this again with the Thalo blue. Oh, I don't need quite that much. It's a very powerful color. And the lemon yellow. And let's see what we get. See, we get that really intense emerald green. Beautiful. So let's, let's make a little swatch of each of these just to show the difference. Get brush here. So let's take a look at these relatively close in value, I hope. I hope I got them close in value. But 
quite a bit different in hue. Oh, there's a little shift. This one's a little bit darker, but not too bad. When you look at the 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 line in in the middle here, they're they're they kind of dive in together. So they're they're pretty close in value. This one's a little bit darker, but that's okay. So now, what about lightening these two colors? We're going to first talk about lightening them, and then we're going to talk about graying them down a bit. So lightening them. Okay, I'm going to take just a, a half of this one, and I'm going to just add some more of this lemon yellow to it. Lemon yellow isn't quite as powerful so you, is the thalo, so you really have to add quite a bit. So I can lighten it just by adding more yellow, of course. And same thing with this guy. Just add some more cad. That's what I used. And, you know, quite different kind of color. But again, they're pretty close in value. Let's test that out. So this one is warmer on our color wheel. See, it's leaning towards the red and the orange, so it's warmer. And this one is cooler, it's leaning this way, right? This That one's a pretty good match right there. So let's see how we did on value. We got them close. Not that it doesn't totally matter. Let's get a swatch of that guy. A swatch of this one. Eh, pretty close. This, one, this, one's, this one's a little bit darker. I could lighten it up some more, but I just want to show you the, the difference. Okay, so now, what if we want to gray these down? One of the, we can do it in a number of ways. We can add the third primary a little bit to it. So that would be, in this case, I'm going to add the, well, you could, you could go either way. And add a little bit of the CAD. So I'm going to get, so I'm going to mute that down. See that takes that right down, takes it more toward the olive. This one too, this one's already kind of toward the olive. This one's going to, I'm going to take this down too. But this one keeps its intensity more because it's already on this side of the color wheel. So adding this is not adding as much of the complement. Okay, so now let's take this one and this one. So what's another way to to mute a color. So we can, I mix this nice gray right here already. So just adding that will do it. So mixing a little pot of a neutral gray, sometimes using a warm gray and a cool gray, mixing both is a nice thing to have on your palette. So I'm going to take this one Add a little bit of this to this. And then we, we can really start to build and, and, and mix some really very complicated and Our subtle beautiful colors, colors, subtle colors that we really want to be able to, to mix these kinds of things. Okay, so I'm going to add one more thing into the, into the mix here. Um, another color that I really love to, to use um, in mixing a little bit more subtle color and that is Naples yellow. And the reason I like Naples yellow is it's great because um, when we add too much white, say for instance, if we wanted to lighten this color, um, let, me, let me take just a little bit of it, if we wanted to lighten it, 
it's going to cool it down pretty significantly. See that it gets quite a bit cooler when we add white to, to anything really. But when we, if we take instead, we use a Naples yellow, it, it's, it's going to lighten it and it grays it a little bit more. You see that? I added just a little touch too much. But um, it's going to lighten it and keep it on the warm side. See that it's a nice difference there, actually. Those are two kind of nice um, light grayed greens. So uh, that Naples yellow is, is a very handy thing. So um, again, using a co-primaries palette, what I've got here is I've got Cad Yellow Medium, Naples Yellow, Lemon Yellow, and that fills out my, my yellows. Got Cad Red Light, uh, and this is Rose, uh, Permanent Rose Matter. Then I've got Ultramarine Blue and a Thalo Blue, and then of course I have Titanium White. Now to this you could, of course, you could, you could add on, you could add a cobalt blue. You can also add alizarin crimson. That would be something that I would want to, to add into pretty much any full, um, full palette. But um, these colors um, and white, you don't really even need black, are really going to get you all you need to mix some very beautiful and varied uh, greens. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit, guys.